about multiplication one more time. Uh, today's using mental math with zeros. So we're going to look at our multiplication, our times table, and we're going to add zeros and see what happens. A review of our basic times table, right? 8 times 2, 16. Right? We can line up and we can, we can 6 times 5, 30. 7 times 1, 2, 3, 21. So time table is really, really cool, really helpful. We have to memorize this. We can see that these, these rows and these columns, they're just they're lists of multiples. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, so on, so on. Um, times table is very important. Practicing our times table, pause your screen and see if you can do these quickly. Here are our answers. And now this is what I want to show you. What happens when we add a zero? So if we're going to add one zero, highlight it, right? This is still one through 10. Nothing changed in the vertical column. But on, across, across the columns, we added one zero to each, to each number. Look what happens. Anytime you multiply by 10, or if you have a zero, and you multiply by the tens place, right? Ten, one is in the tens place, two is in the tens place, three is in the tens place. In your, your product, the answer to your multiplication problem, you're just going to have one zero. You're going to have one zero. Um, so check this out. Two times five is ten. We know that. Two times five is ten. Now we're going to add our zero. Boom, add our zero. What is five times five? 5 times 5 is 25. Boom, 25. Okay, add our zero because we have an extra zero. So this is, this is a really cool trick when you're adding zeros and you're multiplying by an extra 10. Okay, so 70 times 7. Well, 7 times 7 is 49. Go through 49. Okay, extra zero, 490. Watch what happens when we add a second zero. Okay, now we've added a second zero. So we have two extra zeros. If we, if we know our multiplication and our times tables, okay, 5 times 5 is 25. What's 50 times 50? Well, there's two zeros, so let's go 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, two zeros, 2,500. That's amazing. So if we add zeros to the multiplication to the times tables, you just you just have to add them to your product. You add them to your answer. What is six times three? Six times three, that's 18. 60 times 30, two zeros. Let's count it. One, two, three, 1800. That's amazing. So this is it. Multiplying with zeros. You're adding zeros. The exact same practice problems we had earlier, now we just add a zero. Pause your screen, do these questions, and here we go. Five, <laughs> five times 50, well, 25 times, right? And then we have any zeros? We have one zero, one zero. Four times 30, 12, and we have one zero? Okay, one zero. Three times 80. 3 times 8 is 24. We have one zero, so it's going to be 240. Hope this video is helpful. Hopefully you can see and you can visualize what adding a zero does um, in multiplication. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time.